Mm. Welcome back to Onada Basketball. Coach Marv West joins us now. Coach, the Lady Indians, it was almost sluggish through three quarters, really. I mean, it looked like there was intent coming out of halftime, but it was really the fourth quarter where the Lady Indians pull away from Oakdale tonight for a big victory. I don't know if we overlooked them from the first game or what, or, you know, we're just kind of going through the motions tonight, and they hit some shots and got a little confidence, and they did what they were supposed to do. The Hicks girl makes a big difference for them. She uh, she does a great job of seeing the court. She made some nice passes uh, to her teammates, uh, and then they found some open shooters in the first half and knocked down some threes, and you know, it, it was a game. But in the fourth quarter, the Lady Indians got hot from beyond the arc, and, and specifically Kelsey, but it wasn't just Kelsey. No, I mean, we, we, we made some shots, you know, like we're very capable of doing. We were moving the ball better in the, in the fourth quarter, too. Uh, but, you know, but I want them to see hot shooters a little quicker than what we're doing. At, you know, uh, I'm sitting there yelling at them to get it to Kelsey, and we overlooked <laughs> her after she had hit. How many in the road did she hit? Six. six. Fifteen. Well, she had five in the fourth alone. Okay. Yeah. And we come down in transition. She's standing over on that left wing. Yeah. I'm like, girls, Harold, why are you not looking for her after? I don't get it. And Grace hit two in a row in the third, and we didn't find her. I don't. I don't understand when what what we're thinking. <laughs> that we we were just our heads were in the clouds tonight, but we we got hot, I guess, when it mattered. So tomorrow, uh, Kingston comes in. It will step up. You'll need a fourth quarter like performance through the game. Won't well, you? we better we better show up to play. We've got to handle pressure. They they're almost a mirror image of us as far as how they like their style of play. Full court man, uh, run and jump stuff. Uh, Going to run dribble drive on offense. Try to get downhill, find shooters, be aggressive. So I mean, we better mentally be in the game. So uh, that is, though, the 14th win for the Lady Indians. That's a lot of wins. A lot of teams won't get 14 this year. So it's been a pretty good year, 14-4 and four now, with another tough team coming in tomorrow night, and then you'll get your first look at Oliver Springs uh, on Friday night, and that's always a, an adventure going down there. Yeah, it, it is. And, you know, they'll switch defenses. Uh, I haven't watched film on them yet. I was going to wait till after the Kingston game. And it, normally she switches defenses a lot, so you, you, you've got to be getting in the right spots. Uh, but, you know, I, I'm anxious for tomorrow night. I want to see how we, we handle the ball versus full court pressure and see what we do with it. Of course, the middle school tournament's coming up. We talked about that. you got one more home game and then this stretch. Pretty rough stretch uh, going into next week. you got York on Monday, I think. Is that I'm right? I'm not sure. Yeah, I, yeah. yeah. okay. We won't get into the look ahead then. I'll well, I mean, I mean, we're, we're, we're going to York, and I think the night after we go to uh, Jellicoe maybe. Yes. like that. That's, that's the right. way the first game was too. We played them back-to-back yeah. -back nights, and that wasn't originally planned. We had to move some stuff around to fit games in. But, but you know, we, it's a test. I mean, you guys know what it's like. Once you go into that central time zone, everything changes. Yeah. It's a bizarre world or something. I don't know. <laughs> well, you, you mentioned Grace. I want to mention also, there, she just really had a lot of good flashes tonight, rebounding the basketball. There was a stretch there where she treated it like it was hers. Nobody else was going to get it. And that, and that, they've got some good post presence there in Chloe Hamby. Yeah, yeah she's an athlete. That girl's an athlete. But I said it earlier this season, and, you know, Grace – has grown up in a gym. She's not going to out jump you. She's not going to outrun you. But she just gets ball. And that, you know, being a coach's daughter, it's, there's some advantages to, to all the years where you, you just, you were standing on the sideline watching. Yeah. You were yelling at the older girls to do this and that because I know that's how, how Ellie was. And I'm sure Grace was the same way. They just get it. I can put Grace at any position. She knows what to do. And, and players like that are, you know, they're indispensable. I, I don't want to, you know, you know, she gives us so much that a lot of people don't see. And I'm very proud of how she's responded this year. All right, Coach. Congratulations on the win. We'll see you again tomorrow night. All right. See you. All right. That is the uh, Baby J's Pizza pregame report. While we're here, let's get a Roarch's Pharmacy scouting report. Yeah, Roarch's Pharmacy is shaped by the unique community we serve. Bo? Oakdale coming into tonight six and eight overall on the season, but four and zero over there in District 4A, coming off of a win 
on Friday night at Rockwood by three, 51 uh, to 48. This is a team uh, that can surprise some people. There's no doubt about that uh, if they are not careful uh, in there. Uh, and they have some athleticism. There's no doubt about that. They, they lack a little bit of size down low, but if they can get out and start running and gunning with you and they get hot at the right time, this is a team that can uh, really surprise you uh, in the long run. And we're not so far removed from Oakdale being the class yes. of the region, and uh, and they are going to be a region factor again this year as they're undefeated currently in their district. So we need to take a quick break. Uh, it's a quick break. When we come back, we'll have the McDonald's of Onada starting lineups. We'll also have the Helen with Foods out-of-town scoreboard. Players well, of the game. Yes, we did, did that as well. We think you'll agree that Kelsey Pike was the uh, – yeah. First National Bank Player of the Game. Okay. And, and Trophy Masters was Grace Shoemaker. There you go. You picked them just like I told you to. <laughs> Actually, Bo did. So. <laughs> well, he can read my mind. He knows. All right. He knows. <laughs> Quick break as we close out the Baby J's Pizza pregame report, and our starting lineups are next. Welcome back to Oneida. We're going to do our McDonald's of Oneida starting lineups first. Ba -da 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 -da. Yeah, he, he don't have a microphone. <laughs> All right. Oakdale in the road, black uniforms, red numerals trimmed in white. And tonight they will start Nehemiah Cooney, Joseph Summers, Aaron Dunlap, Kyle Miller, and Sidney Gregory, coached by I can't remember. Uh, no. Tra Nelson. Travis Nelson. <laughs> Thank you, Thank yes. Thank you, yes. Played at Wartburg. We're and familiar now. with yep. Coach right, Travis now. Nelson. So the Oneida Indians in the home, white Oneida uniforms, Indiana. orange numerals trimmed in gray. For Oneida, this will sound familiar. It's Caden Richter, Mason Keaton, Grady Keaton, Jerry Keeling, and Zeb Spradlin. The McDonald's of Oneida starting lineup. Da -da 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 -da. And now the Hellenwood Foods out-of-town scoreboard as they continue these announcements. And uh, – Hellenwood Foods has $9.99 a pound steaks. It's the ribeyes. It's the New York strips. Check that out at Hellenwood Foods. And what's the out-of-town scoreboard look like, Bo? North Green gets the win over Cosby, 60-25 to in that contest. Hampton beats West Green, 76-39. Uh, the, the big one, though, Kingston goes to Harriman and gets a 55-51 to win down there at Harriman. In the ladies. In say the ladies. Again, say that again. 55-51. 55, 55, 51. Wow. Kingston mm, gets Kingston. the win. That's a Kingston. Kingston. close Kingston. county rivalry right County there. rivalry. Yep. Rome County against Harriman. Kingston. Joseph Summers to tip it against Kingston. Zeb Spradlin. And here we go. This first quarter underway. Onata controls the tip. Oakdale in extended 2-3 zone. Mason Keaton works to his left. Hands it off to Grady Keaton, the freshman. Gets it out to... Caden Rector, and now it's going to be Mason Keaton. They work around the perimeter. Rector had a flash of a look there. Now it goes down to Mason. He'll attack through, and from Ooh. the farthest vantage point, a travel is called on Mason. With 7.32 <laughs> to go in the first quarter. The count. Back Call the other one. way. Here's a three-pointer up from Oakdale. Banking no good. Rebound is collected by Jarek Kuehling. Healing will bring it down in transition. Slows. Now goes free throw line. Oh! Tried to dump it down to Zeb. Not on the same page. <laughs> no. No, you got listen, you have to be aware of where the basketball is coming when Jarek's got it. Back the other way. Gregory yeah. bounce feed down low. Shot won't fall. Or never was taken. It was loose. Mason Keaton comes up with a loose basketball. Goes the other way. What a shot. And won't go, but on the rebound, Spradlin <laughs> has it blocked away here by Kyle Miller, and then it goes out, touched last by Oakdale. Travis Nelson played at Wartburg for Coach Joe Lane. He was like a coach on the floor for Coach Lane for many years. Did a great job for him, and has done an outstanding job at Oakdale. He certainly has. Mason Keaton for three. Come downtown. Coach Nelson not happy with the rotation of their zone. From downtown. An answer at the other end, Sidney Gregory. 
Puts up the three, and here's Keaton back the other way. Mason drives through, kicks it to Hewling. Oh. Hewling this time goes down to Spradlin. Mm -hmm. Juggles, catches, and scores this time. Mm -hmm. And now a timeout, okay. Oakdale. We'll take the same, 631 first quarter. Your score on 9 of 5, Oakdale 3. <laughs> We're back, not an official timeout. And a, well, it actually was an official timeout, but not a team timeout for anyone. And nothing happened on the scoreboard, on the Twin K scoreboard during that time. So uh, we just won't go with a recap. We'll just tell you Onada's bringing it in under their basket. Two missed shots later. Oakdale with one and Onada with the other. Hewling looks in. Spradlin draws the defense. And then it's a three oh. from Mason Keaton. Oh! Oh, he makes it hurt, don't he? So Onada's going to pull the... Uh, Long range shooting in the boys game in the early quarter here. As Oakdale gets in the lane, kind of a fadeaway hanging jumper from Nehemiah Cooney won't go and back the other way. Zeb Spradlin lays it off the glass good. Onada pushes out to a 10-3 lead. I thought the way Zeb was uh, loading up there, I thought he was getting ready to try for a poster. Oh, I was hoping. Here's a bumping foul on Caden Rector as Summers goes to the baseline. Rector's gonna be called for the contact. And it will be first team foul on Onada. Oakdale will bring it in under their basket. Down seven with 5.34 to play in the first quarter. The lob in will be to Cooney. Back over on the right side, it's going to be Summers. Gets a look at the three. Glances the iron, no good. Rebound, Mason Keaton. Out of there with it. Mason down court, kicks it to the corner to Grady Keaton for three. <laughs> good. Timeout, Oakdale. This time I'm right about it. Five Hit your wagons to him. First quarter, 5-19 to play. It's on out of 13, Oakdale 3. Welcome back to Onada. Two minutes and 41 seconds gone. And tell us, Mason, Keaton. Six, six points, three rebounds, and two assists already for the young man. Now Zeb Spradlin as they try to throw across the Onada pressure, tips it, and then it's touched by Aaron Dunlap and out of bounds. Yeah. Good, good job by, by Zeb, Get, just getting his hand up in the way, and Oakdale touched it last. All right, so the Indians with a 10-point lead, and now it's about three minutes gone. Here's Rector, lost the uh, – his feet slid there. Yep. Might have been some moisture on the court or something caused the turnover there, and so it's going to be Oakdale to bring it back the other way. Yeah, but took his head off. And here's a loose basketball. Rector comes back up with it. Pitches it back to Mason Keaton for three. Oh, he's fouled. fouled. No, he's oh, oh, no. got a charge call. They're calling an offensive foul on Caden Rector. That's Caden's second foul. So he said a moving pick. Is that what it was? I guess. Here comes Sam Bell with 4.52 to play first quarter. Wow. And Oakdale works with the basketball here. Kyle Miller, they work it now to the corner in front court. A three-pointer is going to be short. Rebound, Jarek Hewling. Whoa, whoa, whoa. The official with an assist, <laughs> helping to keep him in bounds. And now Keaton back the other way. Ball's deflected. Mason gets it out to Hewling at the top. Back over to Keaton. Skip past the freshman. Well, not about 10. Here's Hewling. <laughs> he finds Keaton. Mason drives oh. the baseline. Can't. Get the finger roll to go, and on the rebound, it's going to be Oakdale. Joseph Summers out of there with it. Summers gets past Grady Keaton and then throws to the corner, and it's going to be Mason Keaton knocking it out of bounds. Mason. They are not allowing a single pass to be uncontested. No, they aren't. Uh, playing heck of a defensive game. Uh, out to a 10-point 10 10 point lead. Wow. Wow. Hayden Bronner set to check in at the next opportunity as Zeb Spradlin knocks it free. The Indians. Zeb. It's going to be a jump ball. Checking in for the Indians, number 32. Zeb just Hayden hustles Bronner. it. I mean, that's just a hustle play. Almost had to steal there. So it will be Oakdale to bring it in. We're halfway through the first quarter. Oh, not a 13, Oakdale three. And Joseph Summers works with the basketball. There's the bounce feed. It's going to be great. Oh. And then down low is about to be in a, not a basketball again, but trickles out of bounds. It will go over must the be some, Must have been some rain here last night because the <laughs> playing surface is a little slick. 
Well, that's probably Coach King's responsibility to make sure the floor is squeegeed off properly. You think. Here's right a here. steal for Jared Keeling. Oh. Jared oh. lays it across the front of the iron, puts on that up by 12. Thought maybe he could go up with it. Great play by Jared Keeling. Now Kyle Miller nice. has it stolen by Grady Keaton. Onada with three-on-one break. Keaton to Mason Keaton, but oh. it's going to be a charge on Grady. Trying to get that assist oh, to well, Big Brother. Yeah. You see it there. Well, you see Jared Keeling laying it up and over. Following the steal. And now Onada in full court pressure on Oakdale. Oakdale will bring it in here in rear court. Now into front court. Pass to the corner. Three-pointer is no good. Rebound, Mason oh Keaton. Gosh. Racing back the other way. And it's out of bounds. Touch last by Oakdale. Some may have thought there was a little contact. Coach King wants a timeout. We'll take the same. Timeout. First National Bank timeout, 3-12 to play first quarter. It's a night of 15, Oakdale 3. Mason Keaton. Welcome back <laughs> to Onada. 3-12 to play first quarter, and it will be the Indians to bring it in, <laughs> leading 15-3. to Out of an Onada timeout, Grady Keaton's three won't go, and the rebound's going to be collected by Joseph Summers. Summers into front court, drives to the baseline, oh. shot is short. Rebound, Brauner. Now Mason Keaton. Racing the other way, attacking, he's fouled. Mason will go to the line. Now, guys, uh, we have a long-distance watcher tonight from what Kevin terms the swamp up in the D.C. area, Jack Jeffers, Jr. <laughs> now, he's oh, telling me wow. uh, that I don't have to take any grief from you, Mark. What? And then also, Bo, before you get too ha happy and comfortable, your former coach. Grief from me? Is saying uh, that I can smack you every once in a while. What's I need that? To. What's that about, Jack? I, God, I don't know. What have I done? Yeah. He just – I don't think he means that. He just doesn't want Jack, to get out of line. Jack, uh, Jack's joining us. It's, it's nice I'm to be able to, to bring I'm, live on out of basketball, isn't it? Yes, it is. I'm glad that Jack's watching. He's able to watch every week. Boom. Oh. Gavin Keaton football time uh, is contacted there by Tucker O'Dell. Um, <laughs> big G's got a big grin is. on his face. Yeah. You see the Stuart Jones on the replay again tonight. You can tell it got better. You can tell when Stuart got here, uh, things started going good. But uh, but we do, just to close that up, Jack is a great guy. We Fantastic really appreciate him guy. and his entire family and uh, glad to have him watching tonight. But you've got him snowballed like you do everybody else yeah. and thinking you're this innocent person. Wow. Okay, just as Ashley is called for the foul. I love you, Jack. Mason Keaton will bring it in from the baseline. Lobs it in. Bronner makes the catch. Then it's poked away by the quick hands of Tucker Odell. And back the other way, it's poked away again from Odell. And now Mason Keaton trying to work with it. It's going to be lost out of bounds. Can we just turn it back down just a little bit? Everything's I, going I mean, so fast. Reflection of the coaches tonight. These Woo. two teams are wow. very active. And now what, <laughs> driving left into the paint. <laughs> oh my goodness. That was everything Mason could do, and Dunlap still yes. scored. Well, and Mason did a great job defensively. And back what the other is way, that? Keeling is going to be called for the travel. Count Dracula. He done it again. With 2.08 to play in the Dracula. first what? quarter. Hewling will exit. Grady Keaton will check in. That was a bad call. It seemed like you were on the fence about that. Thank you for clearing, clearing it up. Oakdale drives. Now down the baseline, the bounce feed out. Eagles, they're dribbling quickly into tough situations. Now Odell puts the jumper up. No good on the rebound. It's going to be a push on Gavin Keaton will be the call here with a minute 49 to play in the first quarter. Yeah, got a little body into him there trying to get the rebound. The Indians, Indians are making them play maybe a little faster than what they want to. And now into the paint and double dribbling with the basketball, Jaquez Ashley. 
Yeah, now Coach see. Nelson does not agree. No, he doesn't. He never does. You too, Coach. With a minute 42 to play in the first quarter, it will be Keaton. Kind of everybody taking a moment to breathe now as Mason just calmly dribbles up court. But here comes Oakdale again defensively, and now Bell's bounce feed to the corner will be to Grady Keaton. He'll drive through, Hit gets that. it out to Come Gavin on, Keaton for three. A little bit long. Rebound's going to be pulled in by Ashley. Out ahead they go to Dunlap. And Dunlap will clear it back to Ashley. He loses the handle on it and now hands it off. And now Mason That's Keaton her. steals it, <laughs> takes it all the way to the other end, and lays Mason it up and in. <laughs> 18-5 on out of by 13. Wow. Wow. And now down to the left corner. It's going to be overthrown and turned over by Oakdale. There's Kate Mason with the race back. Mason getting a little breather here. I don't know if he wants one. A well-deserved one. What's this? I don't know if he wants one right now. All right, man, I'm telling you. Nine points, four rebounds, two assists for the junior. In a quarter. <laughs> That's Caden. not his steals either. Caden Rector will bring it the other way to Bell. Bell drives through, dumps it down. Oh, oh. that's going to get you one. Brawner. Yeah. It's called for the charge. Not going to argue with that one, are you, Mark? Well. <laughs> there, you when can't. He, Stewart listen, just showed us the replay. There is when nothing you get to on argue. A, <laughs> when you oh, get God. on the tracks when the train's coming. Kyle Miller. <laughs> that was a brave draw of a charge. And here's Miller at the other end. Can't get the shot to fall. Oh, then, my. As Bronner poked it away oh, here, yeah. he's going to be called for the foul that's, on this end. That's two. Yeah. Yeah, he got it. That's two. Doggone it. Yeah, big Red uh, getting a little early foul trouble here. Nice play by Big Red. Swatting that thing away. And here's Rector down to the baseline. Grady Keaton banks it off the glass. What a pass by Rector. So now a 15-point game. Oakdale gets it into front court. Drives to the baseline. They loop it around. Ashley for three. Good. Oakdale trying to answer here. And now at the other end, Grady Keaton's shot is blocked at the buzzer. And that'll be the end of the first quarter with a lot of Onada fans and an Onada coach upset he's going to get a technical. No, he's going to get a warning. Okay, warning. All right. You can see on the replay was their contact. Count Chocula. Quick break. Into the first quarter, it is Onada 20 and Oakdale 8. Oh, well, back to Onada. We moved to the second quarter. <laughs> With the Oneida Indians leading the Oakdale Eagles 20 to 8. Tomorrow night, we're here for Kingston. Friday night, we go to Oliver Springs. Oliver Springs. Had a battle down there. Actually, had a, had a battle with, in the girls' game, too. Yeah. Uh, if you'll remember. So it's Jaquez Ashley, Nehemiah Cooney, Joseph Summers, Tucker Odell, and Kyle Miller for Oakdale right now. For Onada, here's Grady Keaton for three. No good, rebound on the backside. Jira Keeling tried to save it in, couldn't. Zeb Spradlin, Mason Keaton, and Sam Bell round out the Indians on the floor. He's so athletic. Jarek is, Jarek is right back to where he was two years ago. That just amazingly athletic making plays. Joseph Summers fires it ahead to Nehemiah Cooney. Skip pass Odell trying to make the catch. Does, gets to the baseline, losing it, files it in for Miller, Sam and now Bell. Sam Bell goes yeah. out ahead, trying to get it to Hewling, and it's not catchable here. It will go back over to Oakdale as Odell is slow to get up. He'll be replaced here. Tucker Odell exits, and Sidney Gregory returns. Maybe hit his head a little bit down there. Oakdale just looks completely out of sort, though, right now on any of their passes. There's Miller in the corner. And now they work at free throw line. Cooney to Miller for the shot. No good. There we go. Zeb Spradlin draws the charge. He's a pro with that. From Kyle Miller. Here's the look at it again. 
Zeb. Yeah. Zeb does that Number pretty, 20, pretty really regularly. To have position there with 7 yeah. 16 in the first half. He is not. He does not shy away from oh, contact. No, he's the master of that. I mean, honestly, he, he, he does not care to put his body out there on the line. Well, 9 by 12, they'll have the basketball. Mason Keaton gives it up to Jerry Keeling to bring it into front court. Indians with 10 wins. Looking for 11 here tonight. Oh! Sam Bell. <laughs> From downtown. Sam Bell, great job. 15-point lead for Onada now. Back at the other end, here's a three that Spradlin rallies too late. It's no good. And back the other way, the freshman, Grady Keaton, knocks it off of Miller's foot out of bounds in a last-ditch effort to maintain possession, and he does so successfully. How fast was they going up down the court there? 20 miles an hour, man. Now Bell hands it off to Grady Keaton. Mason. Now Mason. Yep. Into the corner, Sam Bell. The three glances the iron. Spradlin gets a reset. Out top, Mason loses the handle on it. Grady chases it to the corner. Now looks for his options. Tries to go back out to Mason. They couldn't make the connection. Yeah, got, a little, got down in the corner there and got in a little bit of trouble when he picked his dribble up. Couldn't find an outlet. Had to throw it a little bit high, and Mace couldn't get a, get a hold of the basketball. So, Oakdale will bring it forward with Joseph Summers. His pass tipped. Onida rallying to the basketball here. Oh, Summers turns it over. And now it's going to be Grady Keaton all the way to the other end for the layup good. You know, this is how Coach Nelson played as a player, and it's how – he coaches, and Onada's uh, kind of giving him his medicine here with Miller with the shot no good. And he's very successful with it, by the way. As yeah. Oakdale does score with Kyle Miller. Miller here, and now Oakdale turns Onada over. And now <laughs> and Mason Keaton comes up with another steal and brings it in transition through the paint. Oh, Holy, <laughs> get it that <laughs> out of here. Holy cow. Okay, I'm just going to tell you what I observed. <laughs> As he did that, I looked down and I saw his dad just kind of put his hand over his mouth like, oh, my. <laughs> you got to do something to impress dad. He just yeah. did it. Here's Jared Keeling. Oh! The no-look pass. Oh, and reading the intention with Joseph Summers, but he wound up. Getting his face was in the way of the pass, so he really took a yeah, shot to the nose from the basketball. Wow. Yeah, he's Mark, he's this okay. is where I would be in. Oh, I would be just crying on the floor. Tears, yes. Yeah. My goodness, I think they're tougher than us. You, you know, the so thing that gets me better. though is that the official looks at Jarek and warns him. Like almost gave him a warning, like he didn't need to throw that pass like that. Was it Count Chocula? Really? That gave it, was it? 518 to go, first half, Onada by 17. <laughs> Sidney Gregory with the basketball. <laughs> Pass goes over on the left side. Now Miller down in the paint, nice ball fake, lays it off the glass, but can't get the shot to go, gets a second oh, chance yeah. and gets it to go. Just stayed after the rebound, good hustle play right there. Five minutes to go in the first half, Mason Keaton in front court to the corner, Hewling quickly dumps it in. Working down in the corner with it. Spradlin going to go up off the glass. I don't think there's anybody that Oakdale can counter Zeb with. No. No, get it down in the post to Zeb, man. Now he's, he's fixing to get teed up. Back the other way, Miller driving through. He's got a nice quick step into the lane on the drive. He draws the foul here. Kyle Miller's going to go to the line. Who do you think is going to get teed up? Their coach, coach Nelson. I, yeah, Coach Nelson. It, he was talking. He, I think he told him something. Um, At the line for two, Miller's first free throw is no good. Oh, yeah, he's complaining to – to the girls' basketball coach down there, Fred Snow. He, he's, Second, up, he's upset. Second toss from Miller won't go. Rebound is Sam Bell. 
gets it over to Mason Keaton. He's in front court with a 17-point lead. And Mason sets things up here against the 2-3 zone. Bell, Hewling, they work around the perimeter. Spradlin, and now Mason knives through, dishes down Sam oh, Bell, nice finds pass. Zeb Spradlin, and there he is. <laughs> pass. I mean, there's just, you know, they've got um, Gregory on him. He kind of turns around and looks at his coach like, what else am I supposed to do with this guy? Yeah. He's yeah. just not got the height to, to give Zeb trouble right now. Great ball movement by those guys too, man. Yeah, out of the corner. Here's Gregory driving all the way under. He gets the shot to go. Onana kind of lost him there for a minute, and the Indians will come back the other way again by 17. Rector from the wing, the three. No good. Rebound <laughs> kept alive by Sam Bell to Rector. And now it's going to be Mason Keaton with 325 and ticking. He finds Hewling over in the corner. Baseline Bell looking back out high. Mason to the left corner. Rector trying hmm. to go in to Spradlin, couldn't make the catch, and now in the transition, here's Oakdale down court. Mason oh. Keaton going to be called for he the foul. He couldn't even see it. And Joseph Summers attacking the basket. Here's a look at it. Let's see if foul it was a foul. Oh, no, that was called That's taking the basketball first. away from him. That's all that was. And the guy on the backside yeah. called it. He couldn't even Four see the dang ball. play. The guy over here. Oh. Gavin Keaton checks in. Javian Gibson is in for Oakdale. What a play. What a play by Mason Keaton right there. That is the eighth team foul on Oneida. With 3.13 to play in the first half. Toss is good. Makes it 31-15. Oneida by 16 here against Oakdale on this Monday night rescheduled game. <coughs> Second free throw, good. So we're back to a 15 point game. Mason Keaton into front court. Pass goes over to Hewling. They work around the perimeter now. Sam Bell getting some quality minutes in here. He's on the baseline with it now. Rips the pass over to Jarek Hewling. Is this an assist? It is. Hewling knocks down the three-pointer on the assist from Sam Bell. 18-point, oh, not a lead. Yeah, he's hit a couple of those. Now the other way. This is going to be Summers. Ooh. Ball's knocked free. Sam Bell has it. He'll take it up against the pressure and lays it off the glass. Good. Sam Bell. Good first half for Sam Onata by 20. Coach King talked about putting Sam out top. He can get some guard minutes as much as he can get post minutes. <laughs> and as soon as you say it, he picks up another foul. Yeah, and that, you know. That's okay. It, yeah. That's okay. Sam, Sam just plays so hard. Man. He does. He, ge oh, he, he does. Yeah, he gives, it, he gives the team energy when he's in the ball game. He just does. What a game. So they play great. Oakdale at the line for two. Kyle Miller will have them. Or for one and one, I'm sorry. And the shot's no good. Miller chasing it out. Loses it in the corner. Falls into the Onada bench. Jagan Morgan was a lifesaver for him there. Good job, Jagan. Softened, yeah. softened, softened the, landing. The, the landing. there, yeah. 2.15 to go. Now Gavin Keaton into front court. Looks down baseline, Spradlin. Back out to Keaton. Now Mason Keaton. Gavin Keaton left wing. Three. Good. He's been needing it. That's yes. Right. Yes. Let's hope this begins a streak for Gavin. Yes. Back the other way. It's Summers. And now Miller puts it on the floor. Oh, Gavin nice. knocks that away. Nice hands. Gavin back oh. over to Spradlin. Takes a dribble. Puts it up. No good. First try, second try. <laughs> I mean, it, nobody to take it away from him down there. With no. a minute 40. Oneida leading 41-16. And here attacking the baseline. And he sold oh. it. it. It was sold by Sidney Gregory. Uh, and he, he's able to draw the third foul out of Caden Rector. So Gregory, had he not fallen down, uh, I don't think they would have whistled that. They wouldn't have whistled it, but, but he turned around to the ref and looked at him. Oh, whoa, whoa. And Gregory's at the, the line for two here. Yeah. 
That's what got that foul called. But it wasn't. Wasn't a foul. really a foul. That's right. No, it was the Marv West. It's the Marv West rule. It's like Winfield rules, but the Marv West rule. If you and again, if you weren't with us, the rule is if you don't make both free throws, then it wasn't really a foul. Right. That was always so, what he felt like the rule was. Second toss is good. Still, <laughs> not a foul because both of them didn't go. 41-17, Oneida enjoying a comfortable advantage as they tick down toward halftime here. Grady Keaton turns, shot is short, rebound is going to be pulled in here by Nehemiah Cooney. Cooney will bring it into front court, now looks for help. And it's going to be Nelson Allen, back to Cooney, spinning in the paint, bounce feed down low, blocked by Gavin Keaton. But it's picked back up by Oakdale and then yeah. dribbled out. out of bounds. He stepped out of bounds right there trying to. So Gavin making things happen. Got that three down. One minute to go. Brought him some energy here yeah. on both ends of the court. And we need Gavin to get get hot from that three-point line and, and be that factor down out there plus down on the post. Now Mason Keaton on the drive. Rips it out. To Gavin, skip pass to the corner. There's Grady for three. A little bit long. Rebound is going to be pulled in here by Sidney Gregory. Gregory, a little hesitation move. And then Keaton Mason gets a hand in his face. He can't get the shot to fall. And now Jared Keeling brings it down in transition. Pulls up for two. No good. Rebound. Keaton tips it over to Spradlin. Then Hewling is fouled on the way through by Joseph Summers. So Jarek will go to the free throw line for a pair of tosses with 25 seconds remaining in the first half. Yeah. Just so athletic, coming through there and, and get, being able to get the rebound and, and just about going back up with it, making the shot. Hewling with the free throw, good. Yeah. So it's a 25-point Oneida lead with 25 seconds to play in the first half. Second toss, good. Yeah. Coach Nelson still... Trying to work the ref over on. He does it the something. whole time. He does it the whole time, no matter. And now they work to the corner. Pass deflected by Hewling. Grady Keaton to, <laughs> to Mason Keaton for the tip Mason. in good. Yeah. Well, not about 28 with three seconds to go. Does Oakdale know they have a three seconds? The toss, they won't get a shot off. We go to the locker room at halftime with Oneida leading 28. It's Oneida 45 and Oakdale 17. Welcome back to Vantage Point Financial Halftime Report. And it finds the Indians leading the Eagles by a score of 45 to 17 with our first half statistics, Bo Kidd. We will begin with Oakdale, who went 6 of 22 from the field in the first half for 27%, 2 of 10 from three-point from three range, 3 of 7 from the free throw line. They were led on the first half, or in the first half, excuse me, by Sidney Gregory. He has 6 points and 3 rebounds in the half. 4 points, 2 rebounds, and an assist for Kyle Miller. Also, 2 points and 3 rebounds for Joseph Summers. Two points for Aaron Dunlap, and that is the extent of the scoring for Oakdale. For the Indians, 18 of 33 in the first half, 54.5% from the field, 6 of 13 from three for 46%, three of four from the line. They're led by Mason Keaton, and what a half he had. 13 points, four rebounds, four assists, three steals in the first half. Zeb Spradlin, 10 points, five rebounds, an assist, and a steal. Jarek Hewling. What a half as well. Seven points, six rebounds, four assists, and a pair of steals. Seven right. points and a rebound <laughs> for Grady Keaton. Five points, two rebounds, two assists, and two steals off the bench for Sam Bell. And three points and a steal and a block for Gavin Keaton off the bench as well. The Indians forced 19 first-half turnovers uh, for Oakdale in the first half. Not good. Have we had anybody get a triple-double this year? No. Mason was the closest, be closest on, tonight. and that was on Friday. We got a couple of candidates tonight, I think. 
they continue to play the way they have in the first half, very possible. Yeah, they may not be around long enough, though. With they the game may not with the game tomorrow night. night. That's true. Yeah. And, you know, another thing we got to think of, guys, we talked about this earlier at the start. This is probably your district champion coming region. out of well, yeah, yeah, district this, champion. I, I, I but thought this will be the battle champion. for the region more than likely. Harriman's got some players that's coming back that might have a little say about that. But still yet, this is going to be interesting. Yep. All right, we're going to take a break here on the Vantage Point Financial Halftime Report. When we return, we will take a look at the Helenwood Foods out-of-town scoreboard right after this. Welcome back to the Vantage Point Financial Halftime Report. Vantage Point Financial, they can prepare you for all types of market conditions. You can call them at 865 212 Seven, six. It's now time for Out of Town Scoreboard, sponsored by Helenwood Foods. This week in Helenwood Foods, they've got ribeye steaks and New York strip steaks for only $9.99 a pound. That's at Helenwood Foods. Bo? We will get to the scoreboard here. On the, We'll finish up with the girl side. Uh, once again, that was North Green defeating Cosby 60-25. to Hampton getting the 76-39 win over West Green. Uh, Coalfield's girls get the win tonight over Midway, 57-54. Mm. A, little a little tighter of a game, I believe, than uh, what a lot of people expected. Seymour gets the win over Granger, 54-25. Kingston's girls get the win over Harriman at Harriman, 55-51. On the boys' side of action tonight, we have North Green leading Cosby, 16-14, entering the second quarter. Hampton's boys are leading West Green 42 to 25 at the half. Clinton is trailing Gibbs 46 to 45. That's with 37 seconds left to play in that one. My goodness, some good games going on. Of course, tomorrow night we take on Kingston right here. Uh, so that'll be a couple of great games, the girls and boys games. Both boys are ranked in the top 10 of the state. Do you know what they're ranked, Tim? I believe Coach King said there were six. Yeah. So that's oh, going to be a dandy. We need a lot of people out here tomorrow night. Yeah, he hey. told me there was ranked one. See? No. no Kingston is currently ninth. He didn't really tell me that. Ninth in the state. He just revert, He got it upside down. Yeah, he did. <laughs> All right, we're going to take another break, and that will do it here on the Vantage Point Financial Halftime Report. And once again, that was brought to the out-of-town school board, brought to you by Helenwood Foods. Ribeyes, New York strip steaks this week, $9.99. When we return. A pound. A pound, yes, I'm sorry. Thank you. <laughs> and when we return, we'll have the second half of this when the Indians are leading 45 17 over the Oakdale Eagles. We'll be back right after you watch this. Welcome back to Onada, 45-17, third quarter set to get underway. Onada by 28 as the Indians are smiling and talking to the officials right now. I don't know why. What's that about? I don't know. <laughs> the way they call fouls on us in the first half. I mean, in particular, Sam and yeah. <laughs> Sam and this, this official there. Yeah. It's good to see a good-natured discussion taking place there as Oakdale will bring it in. Trailing by 28, Coach Travis Nelson's team tops in their region or in their district. And now here's a shot high off the glass, and Aaron Dunlap gets it to go. You expect the Eagles try to make a surge because they're probably figuring they're going to run into these Indians in the postseason at some point. Here's Jerry Kuehling. He passed up the three the first time. Now he's going to dump it in Sam Bell. Kicks it out to Grady Keaton, who drives, goes baseline. Sam Bell steps back for three. Good. <laughs> Bell gets the start in the second half. And he points it to the official coming down the floor. He knocks down a three-pointer. <laughs> you know, I love – Here's the two that's good from Oakdale, and Oakdale wants a timeout. 7-14 okay. in the third. We take the break. Your score will not 48, Oakdale 21. Welcome back to Oneida out of a First National Bank timeout. It is the Indians with the basketball. Oakdale called that timeout. Now Mason Keaton dribbles through a couple of defenders, leaves it over with Sam Bell, and Sam comes through. 
Somebody kind of grabbed across him. He nearly lost it. Now they get it back over to Mason for an open three. Man. It's good. You know, Sam Bell gives you a lot of margin for error with where you throw the basketball because he's got such a range <laughs> to reel it in. It's like a wide receiver that – and Sam picks up a foul here. It's like those, a wide receiver gives you that margin for error. It's those arms of an albatross right there that's going to get him the foul. <laughs> Sometimes it's a disadvantage. <laughs> he got the assist, too, to Mason Keaton. He did. Put up the three. I think that's six. Is that six on the night for Mason? Yeah. He's got 16. 16. Four three-pointers. Yeah. So now with the basketball, Oakdale. Looking back out high, this is going to be Summers. Joseph Summers out there with Sidney Gregory, along with Aaron Dunlap, Kyle Miller, and Nehemiah Cooney. Now Mason Keaton comes up with the basketball. Knocked out of bounds, touched last by Oakdale. Yep. Trying to trap him over here on the side. Jerry Keeling brings it in to Mason Keaton. 1-3-1 one, one from Oakdale here. To the corner, Grady Keaton takes a stab at the baseline, leaves it back out. Onata works around the perimeter, trying to work this zone. Now Zeb Spradlin finds a baseline jumper that won't go. Rebound is going to be pulled in by Dunlap. Dunlap's in the front court, racing all the way down to the baseline, tries to scoop it back out, and it's going to be Spradlin to Mason Keaton, to Grady Keaton. The other way, he's fouled. Miller, Kyle Miller will pick up the foul, and it will put the freshman at the free throw line for two. Yeah, he was. He knew he was going to get hacked right there. Just trying to finish. In a 30-point game, Kyle is his dad, and this is Grady <laughs> that takes the shot. It won't go. The dad, Kyle. Sometimes it gets Grady confusing. Mason. Yeah. Sometimes it gets confusing. Oh, we cute. didn't get to see a lot of Kyle's games. We were tied up. But maybe we will before long. Perhaps. Maybe. Possibly. As the second something. shot from yeah. Grady goes. Maybe there's something in the works. Driving maybe. the baseline. Jump off the way. That's Hayden Bronner. Now down court. Nice catch by Jerry Keeling, and he takes it to the basket for the lay-in. It's a 33-point lead. Jerry, Jerry Keeling does the pirouette out there and gets the bucket. Wow. Gregory drives the baseline, picks up a foul from Brauner, and Hayden's been plagued with his minutes on the court. We used, we saw, we've saw we seen it happen to Sam Bell before. Yep. You see it happen to players. Right now, Hayden steps on the court, and it's and, not long before a foul is whistled. Yeah, and and, and – Luckily, we haven't needed Hayden to do his thing tonight. Right, and, right. Uh, uh, But we're going to need him tomorrow. Right. And the, sure. with the trouble they've had with Zeb, you would think it would be similar with Hayden. Oh, no uh, question. There's really no matchup for Oakdale for those two guys. Onata brings it into front court. And now Mason Keaton down to the corner. Grady Keaton drives through, dishes to Gavin Keaton. Oh! A little spin and the hook shot, and he's hit his last two. Back the other way. It's going to be a oh, miss. Yeah. Hayden Bronner with the rebound. Good defense there by Gavin Keaton. And now Caden Rector to Keaton with the touch pass over to Grady. You the give it back. from Gavin. Give it back. You can't leave him open like that. That's what happens to you. It's a 35-point lead now for the Indians with four and a half to play in the third quarter. Cooney with the basketball. Skip pass. Oh, a little move down to the baseline. And then Ooh, Bronner, is that his fourth foul? That is. Yeah. He felt like he had a clean block. Joseph Summers on the way to the basket. You, you judge right here. It's going to be four on Hayden. Couldn't see it. The screen's a little too small there. Huh? Yeah. Toss is good. From Summers. Back in from Zeb and here is Zeb Spradlin back on the court. <laughs> so Hayden's got four. Sam has three. And uh, Caden also has three. Second toss from Summers is good. And Onada will bring it the other way. 
Mason Keaton with the basketball. Nice dish to Zeb Spradlin. And we're halfway through the third quarter. Onada leads by 35. Indians have been on point tonight from the beginning. Here's a hanging jumper that won't go. And now it's Rector in transition to Grady Keaton. Baseline jumper rattles off no good. Rebound is going to be pulled in by Gregory. And Gregory, a little head fake, drives down, kicks it back out high. And now Miller with the basketball. Oh, it's a oh, steal oh. for Gavin Keaton. Now to head to Mason Keaton. He'll lay off the glass good. <laughs> Pick pocket. Gavin with those hands in the in the way there. Here's a three-pointer, no good. Rebound, Grady comes away with it. Down court, pitches it over to Gavin Keaton. He's got a little, little extra hop in his he step. Does. Smile, he does, he does. Smiles from everybody around for yeah, the, Oh, yeah, yeah, what's yeah. What's going on here? This is a you nice just Monday night. Load, load up the wagon and hitch it to the Keaton boys tonight. It's uh, These guys has played well. Inbounds, Hewling. He's not bad either. No. The three won't go, and there's Bronner. Oh, yeah. Even with the four fouls, he picks it up, lays it off the glass, pushes it out to 39. Yep. I had to Hook. check myself. I had to check my math and make sure I was right about that. Oh. Here's a steal again for Mason Keaton. Down the other way, lays it <laughs> off the glass. Good. It's a 41-point Onada lead, and Oakdale wants a timeout. 2.34 to play third quarter. Onada 67, Oakdale 26. Surprise me. Welcome back to Onada tonight, Mark. Can't believe I'm saying this but I believe we're all Cowboys tonight. <laughs> Let's go. Go Cowboys. You're just – Don't make me say it again. 2.34 to play third hurt, quarter. Didn't it it uh, hurt. I hope it they did. both get beat. It hurt. <laughs> right, you, don't even, you can't even talk so, right Oak, now. Oakdale's going to bring it forward. With Choking a metrodome. I mean, come on. Joseph Summers. <laughs> it's a 41-point lead for Oneida out of an Oakdale timeout. The Eagles work with the basketball. Odell. Now to Summers. Whatever it's called. Oakdale working patiently here. Now down in the post. Tried to draw a charge. It's a slow, he won't. slow burn. There is no charge, but the the players called for a walk. But Jaquez yeah, Ashley is let's, slow to get up. Let's just all stand there and, and look around. And the kid's down on the floor. And I mean, come on. So Ashley, he's hurt his he's hurt his ankle. Well, when he when Sam Here's took the play, yeah, check it out right here. So he, he may have stepped he on. He kind of pulled the chair he, out from under him, right? Yeah, I think Sam, when Sam went down, as he turned back around to try to go up, he stepped on Sam's foot and sort of reeled the knee, reeled the ankle one. I believe it's his right ankle there. He's, he's up off under his own power, and that's good. He'll be on his basketball with two minutes to play in the third quarter. Again, if you uh, – have forgotten. We'll be back tomorrow night. A couple of quality opponents come in in Kingston, Roan County's Lady Yellow Jackets and Yellow Jackets. Sam Bell glances the iron, no good. Rebound is going to be pulled in here, and they're trying to get that third, that fourth, fifth foul. Make that on third, Hayden fourth, Bronner. fifth. One of them. It was one of them. I was practicing my counting. <laughs> Down That's the baseline one. here, <laughs> Sydney Gregory. <laughs> Rips it back out high. Now to the corner. It's going to be Odell for three. It's good. Tucker Odell knocks down the three-pointer. Back the other way. Sam Bell pulls up on the baseline. Oh. Rattles. Pops out. Now Odell back in front court. Circling out high. Gregory pulls up for the two. Knocks it down. He ball faked two defenders. Got past yeah. them and knocks it down. Cuts it to 36, inside a minute to play in the third quarter. Onada's got a game tomorrow night. They'd like to see a running clock in the fourth if they could have it. And if they can maintain this 
advantage. They will, but now it's a turnover, and it's going to be Oakdale back the other way, scooping the shot up. Now, and now it's a 33-point game. We're playing 34. I'm yeah, sorry, playing just playing a little sloppy here. With 35 seconds to play in the third. Here's the pass oh, <laughs> gosh, to Jarek Ewing. Talk about margin Good. for error, Jarek. That's that receiver uh, that he played in football. Ooh. Came in handy there. Couldn't get the shot to fall, though. And now here's Oakdale <laughs> with 19 seconds to play in the third quarter in a 34-point game. Bounce feed into the paint. Miller. Oh, oh. that's going to be it. Oh, Hayden oh. Bronner will exit with his fifth foul. Has Hayden done something to him? I don't know. That was I don't I think that's the only one he called on Hayden. Whatever. With Quit being a referee's friend. At the line for two shots will be Kyle Miller. Yeah, and that like like we was talking before, we really need Hayden tomorrow night. That's Miller knocks down one of two, and now Gavin Keaton with three seconds gets ahead to Jesse Zachary. He puts up a two. It's going to be short. Well, that will get the ball to start the fourth. We take the break, telling you the score after three. It is Onada 67 and Oakdale 34. He didn't know. Welcome back to Oneida, 67-33. And Oneida, so they, if they can get a two-point bucket, then we'll have a running clock. Is that right, Correct. Bo? And they'll have the ball to start it off. It will be Ben Gilbert, Jagan Morgan, Ashton Moreland, uh, Bretley Privet, and Jesse Zachary. This is Zachary turning, gets it to Ashton Moreland. Moreland now down to Ben Gilbert. Gilbert circling back out to Morgan. Now back to Gilbert. Ben tries to get it to Zachary and does. Jesse out to the corner, Brentley Privet for three. Good, and we're going to have that running clock. That's a big three for Brentley and the rest of us who come back tomorrow. And here's a three-pointer for Every, Oakdale. Everybody just left him. Sidney Gregory knocks it down. And it's or not a back by 33. Yeah, and these guys have played the whole game already. Here's Gilbert. You're right. They had the uh, junior varsity game earlier tonight. Here's Zachary. He's going to be fouled. That'll be Oakdale's second team foul. Zachary got it down in the paint, going to the hole, and got hacked. Indians about to get win number 11 on the season. And Kingston comes in tomorrow. They'll play Kingston this week at home. Next week they go to Kingston on Thursday. No Friday game next week in an odd twist. Back the other way, Oakdale with the basketball. Oh, he almost got it to go. And the rebound is going to be Zachary. And now Morgan picks it up, finds Jesse with 6.15 to play. Back to Jagan Morgan. Now in the corner, Ashton Moreland. Jagan thought about the shot. Now looks for help. Moreland comes away with it. Looks in at Zachary. Zachary, nice little ball. Nice. Fake, banks it off the glass. Yeah. Nice move by Zachary. And this is Oakdale back the other way. Attacking the baseline here. Jaquez Ashley. I'm sorry, that's not Jaquez Ashley. It's Javian Gibson. Ashley's out top with 540 and ticking. End of the game. Brendan Arnold. Morgan will bring it forward. This is Moreland. Down the baseline, there's Ben Gilbert. Pops open and gets fouled. So Ben Gilbert will go to the line to shoot here. 
Yeah, he knew he knew he was fixing to get hammered. So Ben stands in. You know, look at Ben and, and Jesse both. Oh. Uh, Oakdale really doesn't have a size answer for those two no, guys either. They don't. And you know, these guys are, are young, just uh, not gonna do nothing but get better and better and better. Ben you see Ben and, and Jesse both, some in varsity, getting a little varsity time yeah, too. You're right. And now down in front court, Oakdale with the basketball. They get it out to Odell, drives the baseline. What a nice drive yeah. and reverse lay-in. That is Hunt Tucker Odell on the play. And Oneida back the other way with it. Gilbert on the baseline. Nice ball fake. He drives through, rips it over to Privet. Privet tripped up there by Odell, gets it back over to Morgan. And now Moreland fires it down. Gilbert draws the double team, lost the handle on it, but it was touched last by Oakdale's Nelson Allen, so the Indians will bring it in from the baseline. Yeah, Four good, minutes to play. Good ball movement there by the Indians. Moreland kicks it to the corner. There's Jager Morgan. The three won't go. Rebound, Zachary. Back up, good, and he's fouled. In. Yeah, just a matchup nightmare for the yeah. Eagles. No size down in there, and those guys giving them problems, getting those rebounds, offensive boards. So it will be Zachary at the line to shoot a free throw. Hmm, posing figure <laughs> standing there at the free throw line. Oh, my goodness, yeah. 3.28 to play. 6.3, about 2.30. Jagan Morgan is going to exit. He's got blood on his shorts, so they're going to get crowd favorite Cam Cash onto the floor. Stroked Good. a big three earlier uh, tonight. In, had, yeah, in the – Had five. The JV game. Yeah. Cam's ready to go. Cam's the student in. section is ready to welcome him. Yeah. Cam's enjoyed his time playing basketball this year. Really has he? I think he came on a little late. Um, Zachary's free throw is good. But Cam's got nothing but better and better and better as the season has progressed. Now Oakdale back the other way from the wing. <laughs> You hear the student excitement. You, you like just, It amplifies. Oh, here's a steal Privet. for Privet. Driving down, a little hanging oh. jumper is short. Rebound. Zachary chases it down to the corner. Cam Cash makes the save. Knocks it out of bounds. I mean, it's just a, a, a rumble of excitement <laughs> for Cam. Yeah. We can't even if you corner. haven't experienced this, you've got to get here. Give it to him. Zachary makes the catch in the paint. Nice ball play. Oh. First try, no good. Second try, won't go. Ben Gilbert is mugged down there on the baseline. Winfield brawl ball. Oh. That's that's what we're playing now, Vanessa. You were, you were warned. That's what she gets. Privet will bring it in from the baseline. Try to get it quickly into Gilbert. It's swiped away. Oh! And now... We're going to have a, a blocking foul. And Cam Cash here, Mark. Cam. <laughs> I guess he was still she moving. Looked like a, it looked like a pulling guard to me. He was still foul moving. Was on, foul was on 13, actually. Oh, okay. It was so, on, no, that was, yeah. It was on, on Gilbert. Gilbert. That wasn't on Cam. Here's Odell with the basketball, driving through, kicks it out. Three-pointer is no good. Rebound. Cam Cash yeah. tips it to Gilbert in the front, right front court. Gilbert to Moreland. Moreland to Cash. Cash back to Moreland. He goes rolling to the basket. Moreland gets it to Zachary for the shot. Oh, good. nice nice dish right there from Moreland to Zachary. Great play. A minute 20 to go. Back the other way. Oakdale with the basketball. Now they get it over to Odell in the corner with a minute 10 to go. Tucker Odell attacks the paint. Oh. It's going to be a foul 
on Cam Cash here. But he held his hands up. I, I don't know what they're talking about. The fans man. just it's crazy. Just will not accept such a no. such a ruling. It's worth it to get here to a game to observe the, <laughs> the reaction. First toss is good from Tucker O'Dell. Clock is winding down with about 35 seconds to go. And the second toss from O'Dell with 30 seconds is on the way. No good. Rebound, Zachary. The question is, will Cash get a shot? That's what everybody's wondering here. They're Privet. sure hoping for it. Privet down to Cash in the corner. Oh! oh. Cam gets it blocked Dang. with nine seconds to go. Oh, not a Probably won't get a chance to bring it in. No, That's going to no. do it. <laughs> That's the end of this one. So the fans go away unhappy with what they got here tonight. But uh, we'll take a break. Telling you the final score in this one. It is Oneida 78 and Oakdale 40. Welcome back to the Danny King Lumber postgame report as the Indians get the big win tonight over the Oakdale Eagles with our final game statistics. Bo Kidd. For Oakdale, 14 of 37 from the field tonight. That's just under 38%. 4 of 14 from 3 for 28%. 8 of 14 from the charity stripe. That is good for 57%. Their leader on the night was Sidney Gregory. He went 5 of 12 from the field, 2 of 7 from 3. He finished the night with 14 points and 5 rebounds. 7 points, 3 rebounds, and an assist for Kyle Miller. 6 points, 3 rebounds, 2 assists for Joseph Summers. 6 points off the bench for Tucker O'Dell. And 4 points and a rebound for Aaron Dunlap. Also 3 points and a rebound off the bench for Jacques Ashley. Oakdale on the night commits 26 turnovers in the game. For Oneida, 31 of 59 from the floor, that's good for 52.5%. 10 of 22 from deep, that's good for 45%. 6 of 9 from the charity stripe for 67%. They were led on the night by Mason Keaton, and what a great game he had. 8 of 11 from the field, 3 of 3 from deep, he finished the night with 20 points, six assists, five rebounds, and five steals. 12 points, five rebounds, and a pair of steals for Zeb Spradlin. 11 points, two rebounds, two assists, and two steals for Grady Keaton. Also, nine points, six rebounds, five assists, and a pair of steals for Jarek Hewling in the contest. Then from the bench, you had three points for Brentley Privet, eight points, two rebounds, two assists, and two steals for Sam Bell. Uh, a point and a rebound for Ben Gilbert, five points, uh, two assists, and a rebound, and two steals for Gavin Keaton. Two points, three rebounds for Hayden Brauner, including a block and a steal, and then seven points, four rebounds, and an assist for Jesse Zachary. The Indians... 22 assists on the night on 31 made shots. Oh, goodness. Outstanding performance. Actually, honestly, I thought it was a little bit more one-sided than I thought it would be when you had Oakdale coming in, which is I figured on not a win, but I thought it would be a little bit closer contest with Oakdale being the team that everyone says is going to take the district out of District 4. Not but, uh, so that's looking pretty good for Oneida to – do fairly well in the region later on if they can keep this going. Yeah, got out of hand pretty quick. Got away from from them pretty quick. Uh, Mason just tearing it up early on and and uh, did a great job. Indians did a great job. Uh, First National Bank player of the game, Mason Keaton. You heard his stats there. And uh, the Trophy Masters Hustle Award goes to Jarek Hewling. We've that's two games in a row, isn't it, Bo? Those yeah, guys, uh, I believe so. We on Friday. They got got that too. So great job by both of those young men and and getting those getting those uh, awards tonight. 
All right, Coach Jacob King joins us. Coach, the uh, Lady Indians had a little bit of a sluggish start against the Lady Eagles, but your guys had no such problem tonight. Well, they fooled me because, me and Coach Slavin both said we looked dead during the warm-ups, kind of looked flat, and hey, we need to look that way to me from now on because uh, that's probably the best we've shot the ball from three-point line and uh, got after it defensively as always and smothered them and uh, took their will out of them pretty early. Really hard to find a negative in here. Not, it, probably it would be that uh, Hayden Brunner couldn't stay on the floor with foul True. trouble, but, I mean, that's really nitpicking when you look at a night when uh, it went pretty well for everybody, and that just means Hayden's going to be arrested for a back-to-back -back night of basketball. Yeah, and, um, you know, the first half we was up 41-16. to 16. The only negative I've seen is we gave up too many offensive rebounds and we had 14 turnovers. So I challenged them to keep our – turnovers to six or less in the second half. I believe we only had two, uh, something like that, but it's under 20. Uh, we're getting better, guys, and, uh, you know, that's a team that's 4-0 in their district. They beat everybody in their district, okay? They beat everybody in their district. Um, we haven't done that yet. We get the opportunity Friday, but tomorrow is a challenge. It's a challenge I'm looking forward to. Um, they played tonight, too, against Harriman. I'm sure Harriman gave them a war. Um, they're number six in the state in AA coming into our place. I'm begging you, to, let's pack this place. Get behind these young men. It'll um, be the last home game for a while. I mean, you it will. get out and do it. It will. And uh, But this, let's let's be here and be loud because I, I think we got a shot if we'll come and play. They're, they're like Joe Lane teams from Wampburg. They just got better athletes and they can shoot it. Uh, we'll have to defend well. We'll have to play stronger on defense, especially uh, – knowing what we're doing, but we're going to be who we are. We're going to try it, too. Uh, we just do it in the half-court version a little bit more. But I thought all of our guys played well tonight. I thought our ball movement, getting that one more pass tonight and seeing Gavin Keaton hit a big three and get a bucket around the rim, seeing Sam Bell knock down a couple threes. Huge for Gavin. Yes. Don't you think? Yes. He, I mean, he needed some confidence. He did. He did. And, and he, he got it tonight, I believe. He did. And, I, you know, yeah. what do you tell a guy that thinks he's a shooter? Keep shooting, you know. And he did, and he finally made it. But I was more tickled with him making the move around the block. And yeah, like stealing that. the ball yeah, down here. The ball, uh, doing stuff to help yeah, us get better. Yeah. And um, I, I didn't think it'd be like this. Our guys just come ready to play tonight. Yeah. I'll right. say that. All right, we got a busy week. We'll yeah. be back tomorrow night. Hopefully we have a, a fun interview tomorrow night Hope after so. the matchup with Kingston. Then we get to go down to Oliver Springs. Is that a little bit of a, uh, a revenge match? I hope so. Match? I hope so. Uh, you know, they beat us twice at the end of the year last year. I was ahead in both games. Knocked us out of that district championship game. And, I, and I've talked to you about what that district championship means. It, it, you got the easier road in the region. Um, but all things go through this gym right here this year. You know what I'm saying? We've got, to, got it on our home floor. I like our chances. But we got to continue to get better. There's things we can get better at. Uh, Jarek needs no-look passes. He don't have to do that. He can just make a normal pass when we get last. But man, they're pretty when he does. <laughs> uh, yeah. But, but you know, we've got to tune up them things. We've got to get better rotation on our defense, um, especially with teams that like to shoot it. They're going to spread it out. we just got to talk and get through it. But I, I'm proud of my young man tonight, uh, especially 41-16. We didn't come out and let up in third and fourth quarter. Even my young guys yeah. you know, against yeah. our older guys come yeah. out and – we scored, yeah. you know what I mean, and, and defended pretty well. Um, just come out and, and got in them early and stayed on them, and that's what we got to do from here on out. But I'm going to get out of here, see you tomorrow night. I want to thank my Lord and Savior as always for saving my soul. Thank you guys for what you do. Thanks for these fans here again tonight. We'll talk to you tomorrow. See thank you tomorrow, Coach. Coach. Congratulations on the win. Uh, we are also going to rapidly decelerate from here so that we can be back and fresh to go tomorrow. What do you got, Bo? The Helen with Foods out-of-town scoreboard. Uh, you got – New York Strip, ribeye, $9.99 a pound at Helenwood Foods this week. What's your scores? Hampton defeats West Green 75-50. to Gibbs gets the win uh, at home over Clinton 46-45. to Granger beats Seymour 81-29. to Kingston goes down to Harriman and lays a whooping 86-36. to Ouch. <laughs> that's a that's a tough in county. Yes, it is. Is that the over? That's that the is final? over. That's yeah. final. Okay. All right. Well, we're going to see that 86-point scoring Kingston slash Rome County team here tomorrow night. Yeah.
And uh, we hope you join us for that. We want to thank all of those involved in the broadcast. Greg Bond with another great production night for us. Uh, ben Garrett uh, for his work graphically on this one. We also want to thank Bo Kidd for his statistics, the production work here on site from Stuart Jones, the color commentary from Mark Matthews, the work from Kevin Akers in pregame halftime and keeping everything flowing. Welcome back. Glad you're feeling better. And then, of course, in front of the camera, there he is, Lucas Laxton. <laughs> The ladies keep writing in and saying, we need a longer look at Lucas. That's what it is. Get him on. There it is. There we go. All right. Get him on there a little more. We'll be back tomorrow. It's Kingston at Oneida, and we thank you for joining us here on the IH Sports Network.